Welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to print an array. So here I have an array called list. It's an array of integers and it has the numbers 1 through 10 in it. So if we try printing an array out in a print statement, you'll see what we get. So you'll see we get these letters and numbers combination. That's because this is where the array is located in memory. So in order to print it, we can use a for loop. We can say for int i equal to 0 i less than and then we can do list dot length. So the list on list dot length is going to tell you how long the array is. In this case, it would be ten. Once i is greater than ten, the loop's going to stop. And then we get increment i. And then each time the array like um, it makes a loop or whatever, each time that happens, we could do we could print the first like element of the array and then go to the next and the next and the next until i is greater than list dot length. So we can do uh, system dot print line list at i, and since list at I, since i starts at zero, it's going to print the first element all the way until i is greater than list dot length. And then if we print it, you'll see we get one, two, three. We actually get the array. And if you want the, like the numbers to be right next to each other, you can just get rid of the print line statement. And then if we run it again, there's the array printed. There's actually a couple ways to do it. So another way to print this array would be using an advanced for loop. So we could say for int x in list. And we're using an integer variable because we're using a, in a, like an array full of integers. And then list, is gonna, it starts at element 0, right? So element 0 is going to go to x, and then we're going to print x until we're done. It's a whole lot simpler than the previous for loop we just learned about. But personally, I prefer like the original way. We can do system.out.print and then we're going to print x and there's our array and if we want it separated by line by a new line each time we could do new line and we get the same exact like output as we did before we get our array printed and there's actually one more way to print it and this way we could do it like in the actual print statement we could do system.out and we could do uh, this is the easiest way but I don't, I don't really like doing it we could do arrays dot to string and then we could have the name of our of our array, which would be list. So now we're done, and it imported the array like import for us. Because without it, without that, it wouldn't work. So I'm on Eclipse, and it, it imported it for me. So we could just import it again. And then if we do it, we could just print our array. But this time it's going to be separated by a comma.